For the third time since the massacre in Orlando, President Obama spoke to the country, but this time striking an angry and defiant tone. CBS 4's Jim DeFeedy has the details. And Jim, even though the president didn't use Donald Trump's name, it was pretty clear who he was talking about. No, no, absolutely. The president spoke for almost 30 minutes, outlining the steps his administration has taken to hunt down and kill more than 100 terrorist leaders around the world, as well as forcing ISIS to lose ground in Iraq and Syria. But it was his repudiation of Trump that was really remarkable. We now have proposals from the presumptive Republican nominee for president of the United States. We hear language that singles out immigrants and suggests entire religious communities are complicit in violence. Where does this stop? A day after Donald Trump renewed his calls to prevent Muslims from coming into the United States, President Obama made clear such an action would not only give ISIS a recruiting tool for more attacks, but also violated America's core beliefs. This is a country founded on basic freedoms, including freedom of religion. We don't have religious tests here. The president also called on Congress to reinstitute the assault weapons ban. Enough talking about being tough on terrorism. Actually be tough on terrorism and stop making it easy as possible for terrorists to buy assault weapons. Reinstate the assault weapons ban. Make it harder for terrorists to use these weapons to kill us. But Obama saved his harshest comments to those who think his refusal to use the term radical Islam somehow weakens the fight against terrorism, a point Donald Trump made on Monday in a phone interview with CNN. Unless you're going to say it's radical Islamic terrorism and, and hate, Unless you're going to say that, Christine, it's going to be, you're never going to solve it. What exactly would using this label accomplish? What exactly would it change? Would it make ISIL less committed to trying to kill Americans? Would it bring in more allies? Is there a military strategy that is served by this? So there's no magic to the phrase radical Islam. It's a political talking point. It's not a strategy. With just 146 days to the election, it is clear the Orlando shooting will be a defining issue in this campaign. And Jim, we've heard the president talk so many times about mass shootings coming out against assault rifles and uh, weaponry. And you sense the frustration mm -hmm. that yeah. he's tried so many times to move the ball on this and has not been able to. And, and you could hear it here and also the rhetoric coming from Donald Trump. He's lashing back at it. Yes. Pointed remarks and you know he's pointing them mm -hmm. at Donald Trump. Thank you, Jim.